Oh god, we have to do the thing. I've been doing that thing. It's a stick that smells good. Use it. No, no. Hi, I'm Carlo. And I'm Bailey. And you're watching the YouTube channel. I'm Italian. And I'm American. And we've been dating for almost seven years now. Yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> There is this common thread of Italian people that comment on YouTube, mostly like tasty, but also like all of the recipes. And they like to comment how wrong the recipe is, it's especially if the recipes are Italian. It's like that scene in The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> it happened to us. We experienced it firsthand when we made dokboki, which is a Korean like uh, comfort food. But there's a fusion version of it where you do things that are like in typical carbonara dishes. People were like, that's not carbonara. I can't believe you would disrespect carbonara like that. And like they got really mad and I was like, it's true. It's not carbonara because carbonara is like made with pecorino cheese and with egg yolks and uh, guanciale. But internationally it, it's called carbonara because it's the international way of recognizing that a symbol of like flavors. I don't feel like there is any point in getting mad at it. Like another thing that people have to consider is that like real, real Italian food is not found anywhere but in Italy. If you go to the US and you get mad at them <laughs> like putting meatballs in a plate, it's like that's because their Italian culture is that. I just thought of something. When we were in the mountains, we went to like this like cute little restaurant and there was a Tex-Mex burger and that is a very American thing to have. And when it came out, it was not a Tex-Mex burger. But like, we didn't get mad about it. We weren't like, this is not Tex-Mex burger. I am a strong, independent Texas woman. And this is not my burger. My, not my burger, dude. Anyways. I followed an, a Facebook page called Italians Mad at Food. I haven't really like seen many of their posts, but I think we could go through them together and see what we think right away. The cover photo is Rance in Italian, and uh, I feel like every time I sit down at the table, like you guys are yelling about something. I'm like, Jesus, can you come pick me up? I'm scared. Pasta is not a fucking side. Does it look like it's a side in that? Yeah, because it's not dressed. Why would you put, like, not. There's not dressing on that? No. There's like little black spots. What is that? It might be pepper, but like. Okay, I don't, <laughs> I don't agree with this. Go off. Go like this. <laughs> It's undercooked. <laughs> me when I see the people throwing the crust in <laughs> That people. was me yesterday. Pathetic. I don't eat the crust on my pizza because it's just like burned and it's not as tasty and why am I going to consume calories if it's not tasty? I let him eat it and it's fine. The world goes round. I don't complain. What is that? Okay. I don't know what this is. <laughs> okay, see, these are the thing I agree with. It's, if you want to buy this stuff and it's what you like, uh, like I'm not going to complain. It's just like... He's right. No, I think I it's a, like a chicken parmesan or something. Oh, that's another thing. In the US, the Italian American community does the parmigiana. power parmigiana. They make it so that it's served with pasta. Like it's not what we do, but like it works. It's not bad. Oh shit. <laughs> Here, I'll go. Italian cuisine is generally gross. It lacks seasoning and relies almost entirely on fat or for flavor. So everything ends up bland and swimming in oil or grease. Take away cheese and prosciutto and you have, and you just have bland carbs covered in oil. I'd rather not eat an oil sick. Slick, thanks. Edit. No, I'm not talking about American versions of Italian food. That's usually more palatable. First of all, what's this person's beef with oil? I like this comment. Like, this is literally like what I was talking about. I was gonna s yeah. They exactly I, describe the Italian American. I don't know if this person has ever really been to Italy because no. I've eaten a lot, a lot of Italian food in my time and I've never eaten anything like this. I find the main part of your diet pasta isn't healthy. We'll be speaking with Italy this morning. <laughs> pasta is healthy? I don't think that's true. That's true. What? Yeah. Pasta's healthy? Pasta is like at the base of the pyramid of, pyramid of foods. The pyramid of foods is a scam by the US government. You and I both know it. We ate that seven pound pizza burrito. There's a heart attack behind that corner. Would you eat that burrito? No, I don't like the double carbs. What am I looking at? What is this? Uh, oh, fish and chips lasagna. This is just a perfect example of people being mad because it's called lasagna. It's a casserole. It's like, they call it lasagna because it's 
vaguely resembles lasagna and like it gives you the idea of what it is but like it's probably good it's potatoes and a tartar sauce and fish and chips i bet you that if this creator had not called it lasagna the same people that would have been like this is a disgrace remove it from the internet i'm calling jesus christ and, and he's going to come and arrest you they would have been like mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, looks fine. Maybe they won't say it looks fine, but like, if you taste it, it's fairly good. Trader Joe's black truffle Alfredo pasta sauce, imported from Italy. Okay, that's just not true. <laughs> so Trader Joe's, if, for those of you who don't know, it's like the bougie white people to place to buy groceries. Yeah, yeah. I've probably been to Trader Joe's twice in my life, and the groceries are so expensive that it, yeah. it's like very elitist. It's like Italy in Italy. Yeah. Alfred, don't. <laughs> Italy, Wisconsin, 12,000 and Athens. Italy, Wisconsin, 12,000. <laughs> <laughs> Napoli. <laughs> See, like, I can't understand this without any context. Like, what am I looking at? What's wrong with this? It says <gasps> Na Naples, Napoli on the pasta mm -hmm. thing, and it's clearly not. And people are like, now I understand. You see Naples and then you die. What's... Is that a saying? Yeah. You see Naples and then you die? Yeah. Why? It's because people from Naples say like Naples is so beautiful that like when you see Naples then you won't oh, see anything else. I thought it meant like once you see Naples you'll be attacked by the mafia and die. That's how a lot of people take it. Barbecue chicken pineapple pizza. That sounds good. No. Pineapple and pizza is bad. It's really bad. It's good. We'll have to get a divorce because of this. See? Pizza, pineapple on pizza is okay, not no, just a meme. Okay, no, I won't agree with you there because I like pineapple on pizza. I think it's good. It's not the best pizza, but it's not bad. I can see why people do it. It's awful. No, it's not. It doesn't work at all. It does work. It's just like Literally, saying... hundreds of thousands of people will disagree with you because people eat it. You can't be like, oh, it's objectively bad because it's not. Lots of people like it. I don't, I don't, I've never really actually met someone that likes pineapple on pizza. You have not lived in, Amer in America as long as I have. Anyways, I do agree that pineapple on pizza doesn't belong there. Strawberries on a pizza, that's where I cross the line. Why do you cross at strawberries but not at pineapple? Because pineapple's good. No. Yeah. It doesn't work. Well, I've eaten it before and I thought it was fine. I'm calling the Facebook police. <laughs> Hello, I'd like to report strawberries on a pizza. That's not pizza. bad. Oh, I do agree with this so much. What is it? The, the smooth, these type of things that are not like with the lines in it, but just smooth. Smooth pen, pen are satanist beasts, and it's true. But why? It's they fun. taste the same. No, they don't take the sauce as well. They oh. When you eat them, it just like the sauce goes away. Because there's then, no like contrast. Yeah, and them. there's no reason to make them. Why do they make Why are they made? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> So I feel like we've gone through some of these, but now we should go through like the tasty videos. I don't like chicken alfredo. I don't think it's a good combination. Okay, see this. What? This it's what? it's just wrong. It's like why? why would you do it like that? Why? This. What's wrong? Uncooked penne in the pot. You're boiling it. It it will overcook. It's like it's not the it's not the right way to do it. Like it it won't work the same way. Why? Just because you need to boil them in another thing. Milk is not the same as water. It's gonna be mushy and stuff. It's okay, let's see what the comments are saying. Every time pasta Alfredo, <laughs> pasta with meatballs and pineapple pizza are cooked, one poor Italian dies of a painful heart attack. See, this this is like. Pasta alfredo is fine if that's what, what you like. Pasta with meatballs is a traditional Italian American dish, and it's like that's fine. Just don't overcook it. Pineapple pizza? Pineapple pizza sucks. Okay. Anyways, if you, as an Italian, like, for an exchange student, part of my family was Italian American, and like they would make these dishes, and there were some times that like stuff was like okay, but most of the time it was. It was fine, like I would eat it and I would not complain. Like I wouldn't be like throwing the dish away and be like, that's not Italian. It's like, it's a variation. Like, you know, you be mad at Olive Garden, I don't care. Olive Garden markets itself as authentic Italian cuisine and it's not. But like if there's obviously like a place, like a small town, like Italian shop with obviously like fusion food and they don't market themselves as authentic, maybe give them a break, you know? Okay, so I wanted to, Maybe like end this with this comment from an Italian person. Italians got very angry if someone of another country makes some mistakes trying to cook a carbonara, but we did many mistakes trying to make an oriental recipe, for example. 
but instead of getting, giving advice to the Italians, insult. That's how I feel, like, um, watching, like, tasty videos and stuff. Tell them that's not the way, but, like, there's no reason to insult people. Go off. Mm. If there's anything else you guys would like us to discuss about Italian culture, let us know in the comments below. Bye! Bye, guys! Subscribe!